Hey everybody, Nick Deckard here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, there's a question that's on everybody's minds, and it's been the main question for almost the last two years. What is going on with the market? Is it going to crash? When are things going to return to normal? So I'm here to talk you through today what I think is going to happen based on the data and not just speculation. Now, I did a poll in the Tips for Buying an OCNJ Facebook group. There's a link down below in the description, and I encourage you to check that out if you are thinking of buying in town about what people's fears are about the market. And a lot of people, the, the main fear was that the market is going to crash. They don't want to buy at the top. Um, behind that, the second most common answer was that they're fearful that prices are going to keep rising and they're going to get priced out. Um, and then number three, there was a handful of people who are totally comfortable with everything that happens. They understand that there are peaks and valleys in any market and that buying an Ocean City is not a short-term game, right? So even if, hypothetically, you bought in a peak, like what happened in 2005, 2006, 2007, people have held on, right, for 15 or so years, and they're now ahead yet again. So, and that was an egregious peak followed by a huge crash. So, point being, let's talk about why the market is not going to come to a screeching halt and where I think it is going to go. So, where are we coming from? Mortgage rates finally hit 3%. They were sub-3 for about a month or so, and they took a jump recently. Now, the Fed wrapped up their big meeting um, in Jackson Hole, and they decided to kick the can on their monetary policy toward later in the year. So there are some external things that could impact the market here, um, but we'll keep an eye on that. And I don't think any of them will have a hugely meaningful impact beyond increased interest rates. Now, inventory continues to fluctuate between low 300s, high 200s. We're at 316 as of this morning. Days on market are leveling out. They're, they were dropping pretty precipitously for some time, and now they're finally flattening out. Now, the prices, we'll, we'll get into again the tale of two markets. Uh, condos still increasing at the same clip. They have been for about six months, and single families are inching back up, whereas they have flattened for a few months. So, this pending sales here and closed sales, we'll go into next, are forward-looking metrics. White Arrows are comparing pre-COVID September to current month September. Now, pending sales dropped from September to September, and that's not because demand has stopped. That's not because people are not buying anymore. It's because the inventory isn't there now that there was back in September 2019 to support that level of pending sales. So, in my opinion, this has not changed. We are back on trend, which means I would expect pending sales to dip over the next few months, with October being roughly the same as September. Now, closed sales increased a little bit over September. And again, all inventory concerns aside, that shows you that this is still a strong market. There are still a lot of homes being closed um, in any given month. So I would expect, again, the same trend line to follow suit over the next few months there. Prices on single families have inched up. They are still going up very, very slowly, much more slowly than condos, which we'll see in a second. Days on market, still inching back down. So when a good home hits and it's priced appropriately, which is happening more than it was a month or two ago, um, the you know huge shots people were taking are reducing a little bit, but they're still getting scooped up within a week or two. Now it's not 25 offers anymore. It still is sometimes multiple offers, but a little bit different of an environment than we were used to. Now, condo prices are still, again, increasing at the same clip that they have been for months, and there is no sign of slowing down there. But days on market did flatten out, and I think that's because there were a lot of homes that were sitting there for months that went under contract um, in the month of September, and that would cause that kind of rough flattening to happen. So. Is the market going to crash? And my easy answer to you is no, it's not. Um, there are no signs on the horizon. I understand that it's human nature to say what goes up must come down. And guess what? You're right. At some point, there is going to be a market correction, a dip, whatever you want to call it. But if you're able to predict that, or if I were able to predict that, we would be millionaires or billionaires. So I don't think it's worthwhile letting fear keep you from doing something that you truly want to do. If you don't find the right home, don't do it. I totally agree. But if you see something that works for what you're looking for, I would encourage you to jump on it. There have been people, again, who have been fearful of the market for a year and a half to two years, and now they're massively priced out. They missed out on the opportunity of a lifetime to build equity at super reduced mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are going to go up, and things are going to get uh, a little bit tougher here in the next few months, uh, if not year. So hope you found this helpful. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and I will see you next week.